And now, as we saw with those temperatures, it's already starting to feel like winter. Could this be a sign of what's to come? Let's go back to Brad for the winter outlook for this season. It's that time of the year again, the winter forecast for 2021 2022. Now this year, like last year, we're dealing with La Nina. This is the main driver of our winter weather. Second year in a row we've had this cooler water in the Pacific is going to keep us warmer and drier than average. That's typical here in the winter time when we see a La Nina. In fact, only two of these past several winters have we had above average snowfall in a La Nina winter. Last year was one of them only 0.3 inches of snow last year with La Nina. Our long term average is 5.5. The 30 year average has dropped from 3.5 from 4.3. And then the last 10 years, we've only averaged 2.6 inches of snow. So our averages have been trending down in La Nina winters don't really help that out. In fact, if we look at our checklist of all the things we look at for our upcoming winter, we've got a strong La Nina near average snowfall over in Siberia. Arctic sea ice is low again, and then when you look at climate change and warming sea surface temperatures, all data points to warmer and drier than average. So the temperatures I would expect well above average temperatures for most of South Carolina with above average temperatures for North Carolina. Now snow lovers, this may not be the winter for you. Once again, we're going to see below average snowfall in most of the Carolinas. The one caveat would be the mountains. There's a chance if we get a more active storm track up in the Ohio Valley that could drive up some snowfall in the mountains. But overall, we're looking at another below average snowfall year with really, really mild temperatures. Now there's one monkey wrench in this with no sea ice in the Arctic. The jet stream can get wild. It becomes very erratic. We can see big ridges which can keep us really warm, but sometimes big dips in the jet stream. It all depends on where that sets up. We could either be really cold for a few weeks or really warm. So that is one thing we will watch throughout the season that potentially could change the forecast. So here's my bold predictions for what we're going to see. Let's start with Boone. I expect below average, but 22.6 inches of snow. Hickory about 5.8 and in the Charlotte area, our average is 3.5, which isn't a whole lot. I expect about two and a half inches, but if we get one big storm that could actually still put us above average even in a warm winter.